Sure. So we've got a short video to talk about the preps for the mission, if we could roll that. So our service module is built at our facility in Dulles, Virginia. That gets trucked here to Wallops and delivered to the H-100 facility where it's unloaded and gets ready for uh, some launch site testing and preps. Uh, here you can see the cargo module being delivered. It comes from Italy. Our partner, Talisalina Space, there delivers it by boat and it arrives here uh, at Wallops. Uh, then we start to load the cargo into the cargo module before it's mated to the Cygnus vehicle. We load about two-thirds of it during that phase. And once that's done, then we'll actually mate the cargo module to the service module, creating the Cygnus spacecraft. And actually, this is the first time these modules actually meet, uh, is here at the launch site after the initial cargo <coughs> is, uh, is loaded. Um, after that, it's moved to V55 where it's fueled, and then we install the NanoRacks external CubeSat deployer. It's something we've done on several missions now, and we'll do it again here, where we'll deliver uh, three CubeSats in orbit after the mission. Once that's done, the vehicle will be moved over to the horizontal integration facility where we go through the process of being mated to uh, Antares. All the mechanical connections are made, the electrical connections are made, uh, and everything is checked out to uh, to make sure the payload and the rocket are communicating uh, and ready to go. Uh, we'll then let the crew go back in, our crew, uh, go in and, and load the what's called the final load. It's a good bit of the remaining cargo gets loaded right before we get encapsulated in the fairing. And it's, a, it's, it's, the, it's the cargo that goes in late, NASA delivers it a little bit later, gives them more flexibility. And here you can see the inside of that cargo module with our crew uh, strapping down the cargo. Uh, that volume is important, uh, not only for bringing a lot of cargo up, but also for allowing a, the crew to stow a lot of uh, disposal cargo for us to take away. And here you can see the vehicle was encapsulated, and then the vehicle, the launch vehicle was rolled out. Uh